Hi, this is Artifacts from Mars, and this article is hilarious. Can you believe this? The quiet impact of Obama's Christian faith. Oh my God. Resident Obama, I said Resident Obama intentionally, was flying over Los Angeles in June as he listened to the first accounts from a courtroom in Charleston, South Carolina, where family members of nine dead parishioners who were gunned down by Emmanuel African Methodist at Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church had just addressed the killer. He heard the words of a daughter who lost her mother, May God forgive you, I forgive you. He listened to the plea of a mother who lost her son, Every fiber in my body hurts, but may God have mercy on us. I'm not mocking them, I'm mocking Obama. President paused the thump of the helicopter's blades, filling an otherwise silent cabin. He had planned to tweet some t statistics later that day, comparing gun violence in the United States and other developed countries, but now he told his staff to cancel that. Instead, in the Oval Office two days later, he seized upon something that seemed more important than any argument about gun control. An idea central to his political identity and his conviction that could unite, unify the divided nation. The essence of what is right about Christianity is embedded here, he said, of the families, according to notes taken during his meeting. As Obama saw it, the parishioners and their families met with the demanding teachings of Christ. They welcomed the stranger, he said in the Oval Office. He forgave the worst violence. These were Obama's thoughts to deliver the, as he prepared to deliver the eulogy for Reverend Clementa Pinkney. Kind of tough. This <laughs> Obama did not grow up in a household and became a practicing Christian as an adult. He has written more extensively about a spiritual awakening than any other modern president. <laughs> <laughs> Addressing it in two books before he is elected to the White House and then more than a dozen speeches since. <laughs> no, he talks about his Islam and the Prophet is what he talks about, you dimwit. His faith has been central to his identity as a new kind of Democrat who brings civility to the country's political debates. No, he's been dividing us by appealing to Republicans through shared language of their Ju Judeo-Christian values. Unbelievable. This is kind of... I'm going to show you the name of the... This person is a nutcase. Story by Greg Jaffe. I don't know who he is. We might take a look at uh, this guy's name. <laughs> In his final year in office, Obama hopes to work with Republicans and evangelical Christians on criminal justice reform. Actually, he's uh, letting it, uh, as many thugs out of prison as they can. That is bullshit. He will make a renewed push on gun control and seize our ability to defend ourselves and the closing of U.S. military prison at Gitmo Bay, Cuba. He's trying to figure out how to get a lot of these big things he cares about out of the box of political opportunism and into a more hu humanistic space. Says a senior administration official, who's probably a Muslim, who spoke on the condition of anonymity to discuss planning for the president's final year in office, meaning he's going to screw us. Same impulse drive 
o drove Obama's Charleston eulogy in the days before the funeral. Obama's speechwriter Cody Keenan compiled 19 pages of notes on the families and the church. He re read James Baldwin to keep him help him think about the race relations and the Holocaust era theologian Dietrich Bonhoeffer to better understand the nature of tragedy in Greece. Need I go on? Uh, Uh, we all know about Obama and uh, the his uh, Church of Hate that he went to, well, Reverend Wright's church. It may as well. That was just a Church of Hate. Anybody who's familiar with it, uh, Reverend Wright's like, God damn America. We've actually, he's actually, Obama's actually, I've been noticing it. There's a blog site called uh, Creeping Sharia. And Obama's been gradually introducing Sharia law to us. You don't notice it because it's so slow, but that's the way it is. You know, Obama is a radicalized Muslim. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. And this thing goes on and on. I don't want to bore you too much. This is... <laughs> this is hilarious. This article is up on the Washington Post. If you want to see it. I, I literally laughed so hard I almost rolled out of my seat. And he goes on and on and talk about Obama and the Christians. No, he's a Muslim. And, of course, he gives you these stoic pictures of Obama supposedly praying over victims. Really, uh, this is, this article is simply, uh, for the most part, pushing for, uh, gun confiscation is what the article is actually doing. So all it's, all it's really talking about is uh, guns and more guns. You gotta lift the veneer up uh, so you understand what's going on. I'm not gonna read the whole article or anything. This is unbelievable, folks. But I had to share. Uh, this is utterly absurd. This guy is a radicalized Muslim. He's supposedly he's surrounded himself with brother, Muslim Brotherhood in his administration. An example is uh, John Brennan, who's Muslim bro Brotherhood. If this, if this guy's a Christian, then I'm Don Juan. Good God. Don't be so stupid, people. Now, shall we look a little... A few facts here. Obama... has uh, helped to foster Islamic revolutions everywhere we've looked. Obama... has been... Uh, foisting... Uh, Muslim so-called refugees, which are not refugees at all, on us, and excluding Christian refugees from Syria, where they are being uh, persecuted. Very few Christians. I think there's one or two that are coming in, but very few of them. You call this guy a Christian? He won't do anything about Christians that are being persecuted overseas. But he'll do everything that, uh, to go out of his way to help Muslims. Do you need to see anything more than that? Do you honestly believe this guy's a Christian? 
I tweeted this guy and told him to check himself in. He's obviously delusional. Well, that's it. That's it. I mean, just laugh at this. This is a nutcase who wrote this. Anybody who thinks uh, this is a Christian, uh, uh, it's going to suggest that you uh, talk to a counselor or something because this guy is just unbelievable. We're terrified. The real people out on the street are terrified of this guy, many of us. There are liberals, of course, who think he's a great guy, but... Uh, he's betrayed this country time and time again. I don't care how many photo ops they give him or anything like that. We're scared. For, we're scared. This is the last year, and we don't know what's going to happen. I think it's obvious we're going to have more and more increased uh, terror attacks by Muslims. That one's uh, pretty obvious. And so Obama has helped to fo foster that. He blows up sand dunes while uh, saying that he's attacking ISIS. We couldn't have beat ISIS very quickly and stopped this, but he's allowed them to spread. We're, basically, we blow up sand dunes, and we're not taking out any strategic targets. He's specifically forbidden our military to take out specific targets. When they're lined up on the roads, you know, all you had to do is uh, send in a few dozen tomahawks, then bring in the helicopters to gun down the survivors. Not hard to understand. We could have stopped them a long time ago. I'm hoping for Trump. Trump says he's going to carpet bomb the bastards back to the Stone Age. I hope he's serious. That's all I can say. This is our Facts Mars. Thanks for watching. Liberalism is a very dangerous insanity. It's a mental disorder. Thanks for watching.